When you first walk into this place, you're sort of overwhelmed by all the things you see. This lady liked to collect. This lady collected people, uh, musicians, artists, family. She collected things. She collected paintings. She collected fine art, plants, all sorts of things. Her tastes are very eclectic. But there are certain things that I gravitated to. They were mostly the pieces that seemed to relate to my assemblages. And when I came back from my visit in October of last year, I really sort of like uh, put my feelers out to make connections with works or arrangements or installations that were similar to mine. And then I went upstairs to the early Italian room and there was this cabinet. This cabinet is about four feet, and it's painted with inlay in the center, a carved part. And it's very interesting because it is so much like the way I do work with balancing things on top of them, getting smaller and smaller to the top. And it rests under a Japanese temple table that has mother pearl inlay on that. And on top of that is a sculpture of the Chinese poet Li Pu and its Japanese pottery. It's sort of like an international piece that showed what her, her journeys were, where her trips were, and things that, that she was attracted to, and then later how she assembled them in the palace in her museum. It's scary to do installations. <laughs> but then when it's all together, then it has a certain kind of energy that, that I really feel proud of it. Sometimes I make a sketch. The sketch is mostly to help me remember what my idea is, but it's the objects that I put together and I move them around and probably not too dissimilar than what Isabella Stewart Garner did. You know, maybe this looks good here, this looks good here, maybe that goes over there. Although she was a pretty strong and definite person, she must have shifted some things. <laughs> It's the spirituality that I'm after, which is not so much, that's sort of strange too, because spirituality means different things to different people, but it's the feeling that I'm after, the feeling that when you look at something that I do that you feel different, or I can't say elevated or something, but curious about something that is, that is unknown in your own self. And that's what I sort of meant about her curiosity, Mrs. Garner's mm -hmm. curiosity, about how in our own path, we are sort of searching for that, that link between ourselves and other. And that's what I would like to have in my work. And the last slide is one from the garden area off the courtyard in the Spanish cloister, symbolized how I felt about the museum about how Mrs. Gardner loved pattern and the exotic and history and religion and <clears throat> nature and how she liked the old and the beautiful, the exotic, and how all of these things sort of interwoven to her life and her passion for collecting and arranging. This window sort of symbolizes for me like this sort of dark unknown quality about her that there are all these things that are left and you can just sort of invent your story about them, but you really don't know who the real woman is, that it's a mystery that lies behind this window. And that's what makes us curious about her. That's what attracted me about her. <laughs>